Oh, time to get up. Got to wrap up this game. Got to make it back home and roll the credits. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my little kitty big city. Let's play. We are hopefully going to wrap up this game, this video. I think the last thing we need to do is just climb the vines back up to our balcony and hopefully um, get, get back home. <laughs> And also, we should probably make a note not to sleep on the balcony so we can avoid falling and having to redo this all over again. So this is where we need to go to get home. Let's just make our way up there. Also, I think I could have beaten this game by like episode two or three once we got all the fish. Because I think the only requirement to... Um, get up to the our balcony was just to have all four fish and once we got the map from the ducks we pretty much knew where to go to get all the fish and maybe you don't maybe you don't even need to have the map if you know where the fish are you can just go and get them and beat this game in like I don't know like less than 20 minutes probably gonna have to watch a speedrun of this game later tonight to see how it's done i'm guessing you could beat this game in under 20 minutes jeez maybe even like less than 10 if you really know where to go well i mean i guess less than 10 if you know where to go and you're super optimal about getting there but i'm gonna have to watch that tonight see how that is world record is like two minutes imagine <laughs> okay but i think we should be almost home right one more shiny to go human I'm home, and I brought with me a nice shiny sword. Uh-oh. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Is the crow raiding our house for shinies and other metal stuff? Looks that way. Dang, you really cleaned us out. Look at that. Took everything. See, where do I need to go inside our house? Ooh, more shinies. You know, now that I'm actually in the house, it really isn't that high up. Also, that looks like, uh, what is it, Cinderella? Kind of gives me Cinderella vibes right there. But where do we go to wrap up this game? Get all the shinies. Maybe this isn't our house. Oh, wait, no, we actually got to go higher up. So how do we get there? Oh, there's more shinies over there. You know what? It just hit me. Maybe I need to go out the window the crow was in right here. Yeah, it seems right. Just follow the shinies and also another bird's nest. There looks to be another animal up there, too. Oh, it's Tanuki. Can I talk to you? Hang on, wait. Put the sword down real quick. And then every water pipe in the city starts erupting, and the timeline is all out of order, but it's happening right now, but yesterday. I think I managed to stick the pipes back together, but the bubble gum won't hold forever, and the whole city is currently covered in water, and... Hello. Oh, it's you, kitty. I'm sorry, did I startle you? Only a little. I don't usually see anyone up here. It's just Geku and me. Oh, wow. Is that the real Geku? I don't know. Not yet is probably the best I could say. Tanuki, am I going to regret asking what you mean by not yet? It's a fairly simple exercise. Every day I come up here to eat my lunch and chat with Geku. If he replies, I'll know he's real. What if he doesn't? Well, I still need somewhere to eat my lunch and think about things. Why not a lovely sunny ledge? That makes sense. Your ledge is a lot like my window spot. Speaking of which... Oh yes, good luck with the climb. Thank you, and good luck with the Geku. Thanks. I'll let you know if he ever talks back. Okay. So, we just have more climbing to do, so gotta go this way. You know, in my other video, I got launched by... I, I don't know how it works on a technical level, but when I 
fell from like a small ledge somehow the game thought it would i don't know why but the game launched me up i wonder if there is a way to kind of recreate that but over here near this ledge well i guess not near this ledge but recreate it so that you get launched up to your home window i mean if you could do that you could beat this game even quicker speed running strats and watch that already be the uh standard strategy to beat this game in a speed run Let's see making good progress should almost be home jesus actually we're really high up we're getting a lot of shinies here too which i appreciate We do still have a couple of hats left to buy, but I think we found all the hats we needed to. Is there anything down here? No, nothing. That was a waste. But yeah, this game has been... What? Did we get stuck? <laughs> this game has been pretty fun. And it's a game I'd recommend you, you check out um, if you haven't. It's currently on Xbox Game Pass, so it's definitely worth picking up and trying out if you haven't. It's, uh, it's a really fun and relaxing game, I'd say. I forgot, where do I go now? I feel like I got stuck here. Oh, there it is. But yeah, this game has been pretty fun and relaxing. Um, I'm taking my time with it, but I'm sure if you wanted to, you could blast through this game in like maybe like a Saturday or, you know, one day in the weekend. The dialogue in this game is pretty top notch. And if you're a completionist, you know, this game has a lot of achievements you could do and probably wrap it all up in a day or two. How did you get up? Don't ask stuff like that. Uh, uh, dad has stuff like that. Yeah, but dad's a crown up. Grown up? <laughs> Are you a grown up? My vet said I was, but I didn't feel any different. What did the vet know? Maybe it's something only other people can see. Like the back of your head? Why would being a grown up happen on the back of your head? Because you can't see it. I'm never letting... I can't read it. It's like blocked off. Okay, yeah, we don't swim. We don't like water. We're a cat. Let me get my sword. But yeah, it's this game has been pretty fun. I'm actually really glad I picked it because it's just, you know, it's just an enjoyable game to play on the weekend. Um, typically when I am playing these games for my Saturday and Sunday series, I'm checking out a game on Xbox Game Pass that is fairly short to beat. I'm typically looking for a game that you could beat under five hours and something that doesn't look too intense. And I do that because sometimes it's nice just to just to relax with the game and, you know, not get too mentally invested with it. You know, it's just nice to play this game and relax and you know, enjoy some good dialogue. It's not too action heavy, not too strategy heavy. It's just a, just a nice blend of fun gameplay and, you know, good dialogue. So, yeah, when I make my videos for the weekend, that's that's usually what I'm looking for. Just something, something that I could relax to and not think too much about and just, you know, have a positive and chill experience with it. So yeah, if you know any games like that, uh, yeah, please, you know, appreciate it if you'd let me know in the comments. I, I typically stay on Xbox Game Pass, but if you would recommend a game outside of that, uh, I'm totally down to check it out. And, you know, if it matches what I'm looking for, you know, I'd, I'd be totally down to do a let's play of it on the channel. Oh my god, how did we survive that fall? Good thing cats always land on their feet. Hey, there's Daddy Duck.
I do appreciate that the game has given me all of the shinies, so if I wanted to, I could jump back down to the street level and just go buy all the hats that I have left to purchase. Wait, I could have talked to people this whole time with the sword in my mouth? Crazy. Hello again, love that I see you up here. So grateful for your assistance earlier too. Definitely the hero of the hour. I'm just glad I could help. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah. I don't suppose you've seen my children more recently. <laughs> he lost his ducks again. <laughs> don't worry, they're safe and sound. They're, they found a swimming pool on one of the balconies. Oh, thank goodness. I'll go and join them soon. Perfect weather for a little swim. So relaxing. Would you like to join us? Absolutely and categorically not. Water is the least relaxing thing in the entire universe. But thank you for asking. You're welcome. Safe travels, kitty. This is a really long climb. It looks like we need to go... I'm thinking maybe this way. I don't know if this is the right way, but... It looks and feels right, so hopefully it's right. The other way looked like it just looped back to where we came from. Yeah, this seems to be the right way to go. Hello? Oh, it's the chameleon, our friend. He's mastered invisibility and we have his top hat. What? I bet you didn't see me this time. Wow, I really didn't. Amazing, honestly. Being invisible is so much fun. I'm still not sure what you thought being invisible meant before now. Anyway, now that my invisibility is perfected, I've started trying to work on this fear of heights thing. So I see. How are you feeling? Well, I'm very glad to see you, and the breathing exercises are really helping. That said, I think I overshot my relocation spell because I was a bit nervous. So now that I stopped to look, I mean, we're very high up, Kitty. Um, Would you like me to reassure you while you relocate somewhere lower down? Oh, thank goodness, yes. Chameleon, you've got this. Just do your breathing and focus on your relocation. You've done it hundreds of times, and this is no different. Got it. You're the best, kitty. Bye. I appreciate that this game is also letting us talk to all the animals we've met on our journey. It's just like a nice way to conclude this game, you know, bring out the animals we've met, get a last interaction with them and Kind of makes you remember um, all the things we've got to do in this game. And here it is. This is our ledge. Hopefully I get to keep my sword. Oh, I lost my sword. Oh, we get to put our name? Oh, maybe I actually got to type with my computer. Oh, that's so cool. I wish we could have done this earlier. Osmo. So that will be our, our name. It says Cosmo. That's me. <laughs> Wait, we got our sword back. That's badass. You made it. I did. And look, my human gave me a present. What does it say? It's my name. Wait, you had a name this whole time? I like it. Mine's Crowford Crowthorpe the Third. Oh, should I call you that instead of Crow? No, in fact, I insist that you don't. So, um, is this goodbye? What? Of course not. You can come down and visit us all whenever you like. In fact, let's go now. There's loads left for you to do. Shinies to be found. Excellent crow friends to give them to. <laughs> in fact, I'll mark things on your map right now so you don't forget about them. I'll check them out in a moment, crow, but first... First, I'd like to enjoy my favorite nap spot in the whole wide city. 
Understood. See you soon, Crow. Definitely, and don't forget the shinies. Well, that is going to do it for my Little Kitty Big City Let's Play. As I mentioned on the climb up to our balcony, I really enjoyed this game and I, I loved how fun and cozy and the dialogue, you know, with other animals was. It, it was overall a very fun game to play and it's a type of game that I, I really enjoy to play on this channel for my weekend series. Other than a few glitches that popped up during the game, this game was, um, the gameplay wise, it was really fun and you know, it was just, just a chill experience. It's currently on Xbox Game Pass, so if you have it and you liked what you saw here, I'd recommend you check it out. It's definitely a fun game to play and you could beat it in you know, one sitting probably if you are good at blasting through games. But if you want to take your time too, this game lets you do that with all of the uh, achievements you could complete after your playthrough. But that's going to be it for me. This concludes my let's play of Little Kitty Big City. I want to thank anyone who watched, commented, liked, and subscribed. I really appreciate you giving me some of your time. And I hope to see you in future videos on this channel. So with that being said, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.